Hi, and welcome to another Barvember Maths Challenge from White Rose Maths. This is a really nice, easy one today. Sandy and Alicia have some money. Three quarters of Sandy's money is equal to two fifths of Alicia's money. We already like this because we've got some fractions here and some comparing, so that's good. Alicia has £490 more than Sandy. And the question we're asked, because we obviously always need to focus on this question, is how much money does Sandy have? Okay, so I'm going to do labels here. So this is going to be the block for Sandy. And I have to draw three blocks that are the, where the three blocks are equal in size to two blocks. So I'm going to start off here. I'm going to oh, very badly draw. Three blocks here, so one, two, three. So these are the three quarters. And let's draw two blocks. So the two blocks have to equal the three blocks. And there we go. We've got two equal size pieces here for Alicia. So that's her two fifths. OK, so this is the two fifths. And this here is the three quarters and you can see how they match up. So now let's fill in the rest of Sandy's money. So Sandy obviously has one more quarter. OK, and Alicia has three more fifths to put in here. So they obviously have to be the same size. There we go. And what are we told? We're told that Alicia has £490 more than Sandy. OK, so that's the difference here. So we now have where we can go here. We can go all the way up to there. That's where it would match. And this is the difference. We know that this is 490 Now, what we can do here is we can divide up the blocks so we want to make all of these, we want to make all of the blocks in Sandy's and Alicia's the same size. So we can do this here. And then we can see, we can compare more easily. We always like to have blocks that are all the same size because then we can find out what one of them is worth, how much it's representing. So now we have that 490 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blocks. So if we divide 490, in fact, I should do it down here. Why not? 490 divided by 7 equals 70. So what we now have figured out is that each of these blocks and I could write it in for all of them I, I'm not going to <laughs> um, they're all worth 70 so what can we work out now let's go back well we've we've we should always go back to the question and make sure that we're answering that how much money does Sandy have well let's see how many blocks Sandy has one two three four five six seven eight well we know that um, so we want 8 times 70. Well, we know that 7 eighths are 56. So um, 8 seventies must be 560. OK, so 8 times 70 equals 560. So this is our answer. This is how much money Sandy has, right? It was a very simple one, so I'm sure you didn't need me to explain, but I hope that helps anyway.